the dry fly new angles. Uh, the dry fly new angles is by me and it was chosen by Robert Burles as one of the um, great books on his updated list in the Gift of Trout. It's on every, every book, uh, every list of great books. And well, why? Um, it has two things in it. It has a theory of imitation and a theory of attraction. If you have those two theories, you can look in your fly box and always know what fly to pick when you step on the stream. Let's take them one by one. Number one, the theory of imitation. What is it? Simple. This is the theory of imitation. The trout is sitting in the stream and a food object is coming towards him. The characteristic that he sees first is called a triggering characteristic. That characteristic identifies that object as edible. It triggers recognition. Your fly has to have that characteristic. The same characteristic that that natural insect has, your fly has to have it. That's the theory of imitation. It's pretty simple. The theory of attraction. You take an unnatural characteristic. It could be color, it could be shape, it could be size and you really exaggerate it. You make something so unnatural that you trigger the curiosity of the fish. The fish is not actively feeding, but you put something really unnatural out there that makes him look up and say, I wonder what that is, and he comes up and he will respond to it. I love the fish and dry fly. Um, those two theories together tell me that I can fish the dry fly maybe 50% of the time and have a chance. Uh, obviously when fish are rising, I can use my theories of imitation and fish are not rising, I can pull them up from the bottom uh, the rest of the time by using the theory of attraction. It's worth it. It's a lot of fun. And the, uh, the fun of the dry fly is that uh, you have those two theories to play with. Good book, a lot of fun.